to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos uh, today it's a time for another haul video and this is for uh, this month October and I'm very excited to share with you the things that I bought during this month because there are a lot of things and uh, let's just start if you already subscribed to my channel you probably s saw a couple of videos using and trying a couple of the products and I kind of like do that before I do the monthly video the whole video because it gives me a chance to try the products in different ways and get an opinion of what I really like about them uh, the first product that I'm going to show you today it's this palette it's makeup obsession this is a uh, it's stained if you see a lot of my fingerprints on it because I use it almost every day this is the blushes that I did a video of I'm going to put all the videos down below so you can check them out if you're interested but I really really like these colors now I kind of find myself using a middle road more than these two the uh, one up here and the one down here just I don't know it's more me here in the middle but I really like the shade the other two products that I also did a video two videos about is the new uh, eyeshadow palette or Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes I bought Huda Beauty rose gold edition the first palette and this new uh, Des desert dusk palette now I have a video with this palette where I kind of do a makeup look using this and the other makeup revolution rose palette I can't really remember the name of that palette and uh, they are very similar and I made a makeup look with one side using this palette and the other side using the makeup revolution palette rose gold chocolate rose gold I think and I can I'm going to put the link down below so you can check it out if you haven't seen it I really enjoy both palettes but I really like this one and then I also did a makeup look fall makeup look using uh, this palette now this is a palette that I used a lot. I really reach for this palette all the time and I really, really love all the shades here. Of course you have to use the glitter glue with this shade. Now I don't have a glitter glue, so that's kind of bomb. I have to buy that. I don't know why I don't, don't have glitter glue. I just can't understand why I never bought that, but I'm going to, I need it. And uh, also I did a video first impression and uh, review of this all hours YSL all hours uh, foundation I watched Tati's video you trying this foundation out and I was very curious I'm glad that I got it because I really like it now I've tried it many times and I wore it a couple of days and I really really love this now I get oily with most of the foundation I don't know if I found any foundation that will keep my face matte or not shiny during the whole day and when I say whole day I mean 12 hours because I need foundation there that will work for at least 12 13 hours because that's how much time I'm away from home and and at work and uh, from work to my children's school and home so I do need a foundation that will really make me feel good and uh, with this foundation I also got this YSL or hours primer now I really really like this primer I tried this primer with other foundations and I love it I love it so it's a very nice primer uh, the foundation that I bought and I did a video okay <laughs> I did a video full face first impression product I have bought a couple of things and I did a full makeup first impression with the products I don't know what happened but my camera didn't get everything so that video never came up and I didn't film another one because it felt like I was cheating if I if I make another first impression video and that's not the first impression but one of the products that I've used on that in that video is this wet n wild photo focus foundation and this is in shade soft beige and I really like this shade now I bought this one and two others one more uh, lighter and one darker and I gave them away to my sister so she can mix and make own shade but I really like this it's what I have on me today and I love it under this foundation I have this primer and these two 
they really like each other really like each other so high-end and drugstore foundation go very well together i really like it and that's what i have on me today so i'm enjoying this a couple of other products that i also used on in that video video and it's that never came up it's this mua makeup academy professional bra pro brow ultimate eyebrow kit that was a long name for this product i never heard anything about this brand before and they have a, a mini tweezers and a mini brush and they have the two shades eyebrow shades one highlight shade and the gel now the problem here is that the highlight shade and this shade almost looked identical so for me it was uh, maybe undertone was different but i can't really use this as a highlight shade because it a little bit darker than my skin tone so that looks very weird but I did like this product now I'm not reaching for this a lot because I kind of uh, found this revolution Paul wait this product revolution brow pomade that I really really like and it's what I have on today so I'm kind of addicted to this one so that's why I not don't reach for this product a lot but it's not bad but there are other better products out there and then I also uh, use uh, bought in tried this pro base eye primer from MUA the same brand as this brow pro brow kit and it works good I can't complain it's a good nice eyeshadow primer now it made my foundation uh, foundation it, ma it made my eyeshadow stay a couple of hours and it didn't crease as much as the other so I do like this now I uh, used it a couple of times and it does work now it doesn't work full 10 hours it works maybe four or five hours but I do like it and it's not bad it's a very it was very cheap it's not it's not bad it's not the worst eyeshadow primer that I've used I'm definitely going to co continue using it why I don't work because uh, then I don't mind if my eyeshadow don't stay the whole day. Okay, let's move on because I have a lot of other products to show you. Now I also bought the other compact refill Lava Art foundation. I really like it and I always need to have a backup so I do like it. And uh, let me see, what did I buy? Yes, the other product that I also tried in that video that never came up. This is the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush. I don't know in what shade. But this brush, blush is very nice. I really, really, really like this blush. It's so easy to blend. It looks nice on my skin and it stays on the whole day. I really like this one. Very nice. Other foundation that I tried and did a video of, I'm going to put all the links down below, is this Estee Lauder Double Way Nude Water Fresh Makeup Foundation. Now, and also I bought the pump because I prefer a pump and I really like this foundation and it does stay on the almost whole day but I get uh, very shiny during the day it's because this is water based and I'm have my t-zone is very oily but during the winter I found a couple of um, places on my face get very dry especially around my nose and around my eyebrows and here down my chin and I think this kind of foundation works better for me during the winter and during the falls. And I also bought the other double wear stain place foundation. It's because my other is empty and I needed a backup. So I bought that one too. I don't know if I showed this in my last haul video. Can't really remember because I was using this product a couple of times. One more product that I bought, I think it was the beginning of the month or the last month. I know I did a video and it that also didn't record so unfortunately i bought this good uh, Goodico dream serum i saw this on um, instagram and i really like this serum i really like it and it was expensive and i'm kind of <laughs> i really want to have a backup with this i really like it problem is shipping and uh, tax cost this was around 500 swedish crowns and it's a lot of money for a serum and it was free shipping but when i got this i had to pay shipping costs or tax costs i don't know what they're called the half 
price of this product and it costs a lot so that's why i'm not going to buy this again probably not now because i have other products come uh, that i ordered and waiting for to try but this is a very nice dream serum so if you have a chance to buy this buy and try it i really really like it and i kind of said that i'm not going to buy it but it costs too much to get this shipped to sweden and i fortunately i think that I can't, can't spend that lot of money for a serum. And this it goes fast very well. I almost empty the half of the bottle. So this is, will last maybe two months and it, the cost will be too high for me to repurchase this. But I really like it. I also bought a lot of makeup from uh, uh, Rebecca Stella. And uh, I bought the primer, the foundation, the mascara, the powder, translucent powder, setting powder, uh, bronzer, lipstick and also a lip pen and I have a video I will put link down below or the card up here so you can watch it if you didn't. I really enjoy these products and it this is what I've used almost the whole, every day. Not the lipstick though, I do use it but I kind of make mix and match with other lipsticks because it didn't really wear very nicely kind of gathered on my lips. The mascara is a nice mascara, it's everyday mascara, not the mascara that I will wear at work. This is kind of Paradise L'Oreal mascara that I have on today and this, this is what I go to wear to my work every day. This everyday mascara, it's something that I wear, wear at home because I can't go out without the mascara. Can't. Never. I feel naked. So I do like it. I did try this uh, uh, flawless Rebecca Stella primer with other foundations, especially the, the foundation that needs kind of uh, like a silicone primer. And I do like it. It works very nice. Now also this foundation is full coverage. It does stay almost the whole day. Now I do get a little bit shiny, but like I said before, the most foundation, almost the old foundation that I have, make me look shiny after 10 nine ten hours the other couple of product for that i bought for my hair that i didn't share with you but before i go to that i forgot to show you the book that i bought this is you are a badass how to stop uh, dubbing your greatness and start living an awesome life and this is a book that laura lee talked about on her snapchat and i was kind of curious and i ordered this book i've just started reading it and it's a nice book I'm kind of curious she really likes it and she recommended it and I got it and I'm going to read it okay let's go over to the hair products there are a lot of the hair products my hair is in a very very bad shape it's very dry I do need to cut it a lot and I kind of don't want because I love my long hair it's very bad because I'm not blonde as you can see and I do make it this a light and that kind of destroyed my hair and I feel very bad and don't want to color it brown again it's not I know I look beautiful with brown hair I'm not saying I don't I just feel more comfortable and feel more myself with this hair color that I have right now and I'm very sad that I have to maybe go back to be brown again. I, I just had a discussion with my hairdresser. We'll try to do something and still keep it blonde, but we'll see, we'll see. But to get my hair looking normal and a little bit more moisturized, I bought a lot of stuff. Uh, let me see, let's go first with the, this that you maybe recognize. Oh, I forgot to close it, sorry. Uh, I got this Kerastase, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is fiber quality renewal care, very damaged, over processed fine hair. This is something you do before shampoo uh, shampooing to protect the hair fiber during shampooing without weighting hair down. And this is something you apply to the wet hair, keep it uh, for three or four minutes, then rinse, and then you go in with the, this shampoo Bain therapy balm in shampoo that I also got from the same brand and for very damaged or processed hair and this is what I have and this is in third and fourth level if you can see it 
and I have to say that I really enjoy these products and I've used uh, these for two I two or three weeks and I found that my hair is more feels more soft and looks better than it did before it doesn't look too dry it's still not perfect uh, and I lost a lot of hair it's kind of breaking down here it breaks a lot down here so it doesn't look full and nice everywhere I know if you can see it probably not but uh, it's not in the shape that it was before so I tried these products and I do like them so I, I will give you my full thoughts after maybe a month or two I will co continue using these products now with these products I also bought this one and uh, this is serum dual treatment fiber quality renewal care extremely damaged this is for uh, length and ends it's something that you put in the hair before you blow dry it or anything else just to keep it soft and nice like a serum for the hair I do like it uh, I also wash my hair two times a week and uh, it helped it not to get too dry and then I bought a lot of hair masks the first hair hair or deep conditioner hair mask is this from Vatican Naturals garlic and it sounds disgusting maybe and it sounds very real but this smells so nice and this is very good to repair and restore for break for weak breaking hair and I used a lot I don't know if you can see it but I used a lot I've used like to half of this packaging already because I put a lot of this in my hair and this smells very nice it doesn't smell garlic at all it smells very nice and I do like this I ordered it online I will try to find uh, the link down below so you can uh, check it out this is made with finest hand-picked garlic from Spain Vatica garlic deep conditioner hair mask repair your hair and it helps hair look natural healthy looking hair with regular use and I use this every time I uh, wash my hair and I do like this nice now with that hair mask I also bought this garlic hair oil also the same brand and uh, this smells very nice really it's maybe if you hear word garlic you think oh my god that stinks doesn't stink at all doesn't smell as garlic at all it smells very nice it smells strong but it's not doesn't smell garlic the godness of garlic lemon and rosemary along with other ingredients helps your hair repairs the hair helping it look healthy and uh, stronger and this is something you can apply regularly on your sc uh, scalp and hair and for the re best results keep it overnight now I didn't try to keep this overnight I do put it in my scalp and I kind of massage my hair and uh, leave it for maybe half an hour one hour once I kept it for two hours and it my hair feels very nice very very soft it's what I have on my hair today and it looks very nice and very shiny so I do like it and I didn't only bought that I bought a couple of other hair masks I bought this wild couscous deep conditioner hair mask I don't know if that I pronounced that right and I used this a couple of times also I tried it and I do like it now I do prefer the garlic one more than this one this is also for weak and breaking hair cactus uh, it has cactus garlic and coconut and it makes my hair feel very nice and very very soft but for some reason I kind of prefer the garlic one now for me it's very important to kind of change my hair products after a couple of weeks is because the hair otherwise it gets used to the products and I found that it worked it works better if I kind of mix sometimes use the garlic hair mask sometimes use this one I also bought this now I didn't have ch chance to try this one this is a cactus uh, hair oil also that goes together with this now I didn't try this one at all it has cactus ginger and garlic very good for the hair too also works the same way way as this one but I didn't try this one and the last hair mask that I bought and yes I bought one more <laughs> I know you know when I saw that my hair was breaking and looking very dull and very dry and 
very bad, start panicking, and I order a lot of things. That's me. I love ordering things. I also bought this Vatica Egg Pro Protein Deep Conditioner Hair Mask. Now, I do make my own hair masks with eggs and other products, and I found them working very nice. I haven't tried this one, and if you don't believe me, it's sealed. As you can see, I didn't try it. And this is with honey and egg, also the same brand. And I uh, do like them. This is also for damaged uh, split hair. Yeah, that was everything I had for you today, guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, give a thumbs up. If you have questions, put them down below. I will try to answer them. Um, yeah, I think that was everything. Uh, I probably forgot a couple of things. I always do that. I buy a lot of things. I start to use them and then I forget that I bought them. And I forget when I bought them. And I don't know if I bought them last month or this month. And I don't know, should I have them on in this whole video or not whole, in this whole video? I never know. Please subscribe if you already haven't to my channel. That mean mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.